Hi, my name is Jeff Bluestone. I'm the director of the UCSF Diabetes Center. We're in a laboratory here and uh, oversee the immune tolerance network. My work is uh, involved in basic understanding of how the immune system distinguishes self from non-self and how we can use therapies to try to induce what we call immune tolerance, which is the ability of the uh, immune system to be modulated and protect itself from uh, recognizing itself as foreign and attacking things like its own pancreas or brain or joints that happens in many autoimmune diseases. We're particularly interested in therapies, both drug and cellular therapies, that might be used to educate or re-educate the immune system so that we don't uh, block or destroy um, our own ability to protect our own tissue. So whenever a, um, a T cell comes through the thymus or B cell comes out of the bone marrow, it has to learn to distinguish self from non-self. And this is what we call immune tolerance, which is that ability to tolerate one's own tissue and not destroy it or attack it. What often happens in many disease settings is that the immune system, because of environmental and genetic reasons, uh, starts attacking one's own tissue and tolerance is broken. And it's that um, system that we're trying to reestablish with some of our therapies. And the ultimate goal of immune tolerance therapies as opposed to generalized immunosuppression is to try to develop therapies or drugs that will in fact um, reestablish tolerance without requirement for ongoing therapy. So that today where somebody with a kidney transplant or liver transplant might require uh, 20 or 30 pills a day to keep the immune system from attacking.